Uh, what's some other muscles? Hell, what about the most famous one? What about white people? What about white people? That whole thing that happened on that boat showed you their true intention. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a secret with you. The Bible calls them Esau. The Bible says they have a perpetual hatred for you. We they twin brothers because we descend from the same father. Show them that uh, Genesis 25. They are twin brother. They the evil side of us. And they hate us because God chose us over them. God chose us over them. And they have that spirit of hatred in them because of that. That's why it's so important for them to boast in their wealth and keep us the hell out of their stuff. You can't get into their country clubs. They'll give you one president because they got a bunch of them. They can't let y'all have us so much because they have to say we above everybody because God blessed them above us. Now I'm going to show you that we the same we descend from the same people, but God blessed one, cursed the other. Read. Genesis chapter 25 verse 21. We got to come back to who we really are in this Bible. We've been lied to about this church. That's why we think we black. We think we niggas. We think we African Americans. But God says we are the Israelites, the people of God's eye, the people that God loves above everybody. That's why... I, we can go through slavery and not be extinct. What people can go through that? What people can go through that and still come out, you know, with their head held high and still try and still with some hope? See? Most people will be extinct or beat so damn low they just give up living. Like white people lose all their money, they step in front of a damn train. What the hell gonna happen to them? They gotta go through damn slavery for 400 years. Get their back beat, their wives raped. They children feet cut off. They sons and daughters hung up by trees. They burned on crosses and stuff. They can't go through that because they can't. They can't. Right. I, I lost all my investments. I don't know right. what to do, Biff. And then they jump off a damn ledge. Right. That's a weak-minded man. See? But we went through hell and we still stand strong. Right. That's proof that we better than everybody. Above everybody. Because we don't. We got the heart of a lion in us. We got skin built tough. We built that way. We built for the war. We built for the battle. Because our father is a man of war. You warriors, gods and goddesses. That's what Israel means. Prince and princesses who have power with God and have prevailed. You are gods and goddesses on earth. The spirit that's in you is a god and a goddess spirit. You just forgot that. You forgot that. Read. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. So this is Isaac and Rebekah. You know Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. This is Isaac, our forefather. Watch this. I'm going to show you where we, the Israelites, and white people descend from. Read. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Uh -huh. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Why are these twins fighting in me? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations. You what? Two nations. So you're pregnant with two different races of people. But wait. Ain't y'all brother and sister? Imagine if God said, yeah, you're going to have two children, but I'm going to make them two completely different races of people. Meaning, you're going to have descendants, meaning children. You're going to have children. Millions of them. Billions of them, maybe. And they're going to be two different. Yeah. What's your name, sis? I'm sorry? Jasmine? Yeah, so y'all race is called the Jasminites. That's your race. What's your name? John. Y'all the Johnites. It's a whole race. Y'all come from the country of Genothia. Y'all come from the, the country of Jasmine. I don't know. Right? Two different countries, two different races of people, but you came from the same dad. You say you came from the same mom. Showing you that races do, it's not, not, everybody comes from one person, it's Adam. But when they scatter out and they start a, a nation, that's where a race comes from, a person. One person is the forefather of an entire race of people. Right. That's what we're reading about. She told, uh, God told Abraham and Isaac's wife, you pregnant with two different races of people. Read. Two nations are in thy womb, uh -huh. and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And, excuse me, and one, and the one, let me get a light, shall be stronger, and one of these people you're pregnant with shall be stronger than the other. Hold on, hold on, stop, 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 stop. What did God just say about those twins that she was pregnant with? One of them will be what? Stronger than the other. Now, don't take rocket scientists to figure out who that's talking about. That's simply one of these twins is going to be better. Right? Great. And the other people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the oldest son is going to be a servant to the youngest one of these twins. Pay attention. One going to be stronger. And the oldest one, meaning the first one that comes out, 
is going to be a servant to the younger one. Read. Verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. And when she about to give birth. Behold, there were twins in her womb. She's pregnant with twins. But God said these are going to be two different races of people. Read. And the first, and the first came out red. All over. And the oldest one came out what? Red. All over. Like in hairy garment. Now I'm going to ask y'all a question. Right? When you think of a red person, what person comes to mind? Why? Because they turn red. Piss one of them off. Piss one of them off and sit there. God damn it, I'm fine. I hate niggers. Their whole face turn red. Slap one of them in the back of the neck. See if their whole neck don't turn red. Let them get a whole face full of pimples. See if that whole face don't be red. Let the sun burn their skin. See if their whole body don't turn red. They're not white people. They're red people. You can see the blood through their skin because they have no pigmentation. There is no melanin in them at all. God said the first one would come out. What color? Red. All over. Uh -huh. Like in hairy garments. It'd be red and hairy. Who hairy than the white man? You ever seen a white man take his shirt off? He hairy as hell. That's crazy, right? We read in the Bible, God just described the white man in the Bible. And he said he was one of two twins. The oldest of two twins. He gonna come out red. What they call him in the South? Redneck. Why? Because they turn red. They call him a pecker wood. What's significant about a woodpecker? Its head is red. Why we call white people these things? You ain't never thought about this stuff? Why do we call white people red people? They, they try to put it on the, the, the natives. They not red. They brown. We know white people really red. They not white. Not, what's it? This sign has white on it. Not one white person looks like this. But you yell at a white person and call them a slave master and say you racist, they turn bright pink red, and they hairy as hell, like Sasquatch, like a caveman, right? Read. And they called his name Esau. And the forefather, or the father that produced the Caucasian race, his name Esau in the Bible. That's the first white man you ever read anywhere. Read. Verse 20, I remember it said the elder, Esau, will serve the younger. Read. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. Esau and Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the Israelites. His name was changed to Israel. Because God chose him. Because the prophecy said the eldest, Esau, the white man, will serve the younger, Jacob. Jacob will become the sons and daughters of the living God. Esau will become the sons of the devil the Bible speaks of. That's why everything they do is evil as hell. That's right. Everything they do is evil. That's because those are the devil's sons and daughters manifest in earth. Just like you were supposed to be the sons and daughters of God manifest in earth. That's right. Yin and yang, yeah. opposites, That's twins right. of each other, the righteous and evil version of each other. Right. That's what you are. Now, let's get the blessing. Uh, 27. Now, I told you that they, they act like that towards us because they, it's in their spirit too. They can't be good. I know we told there's good people in every race. No, there's not. Not in this race. They weren't made to be that way. They were simply made to punish us for being evil. That's all their purpose is. Once their purpose is finished, there will never be a white person on earth again. Their genes, their genetics are, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, regressive. Their whole genetic makeup is regressive. The sun makes your skin shiny and beautiful. The, the sun cooks them. You stay out in the sun, your hair might itch a little bit, it might peel a little bit. But once it stops peeling and you put some lotion on it, that thing be glistening. You, you glowing. You shining a little bit. Hey, man, you know, I had to get my vitamin D. You know what I'm saying? I had to get out there and get some of that sunlight. So they not from Earth. What do you mean they not from? Yeah, they come from Earth. they just a regressive form. They regress. Meaning they are uh, a deformation. They're deformed. A lack of melanin. If you come from. Right, basically. If you come from, if you come from people that have melanin and you don't have melanin. Yeah, it's like, let's say I have a baby. And I got two arms, and my baby born with no arms. Is that normal or is that regression? That's regression. He's not normal. Being born from people with melanin, and you don't have melanin, is regressed. That's what that is. You are something that's not normal, not right in here. Read. Now let's get the blessing of Jacob. Remember I said he hates us in him because we got the blessing. Read. Genesis chapter 27 verse 41. 
And Esau hated Jacob uh -huh. because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Now remember, Esau was the oldest. He said he hated his younger brother Jacob because the blessing that his father gave him. Now, what was the blessing that Esau got? Read verse 38. This is his blessing. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? He said, said, no, no, you bless the little brother. I'm the oldest. You, you got but one blessing? Bless me too. Read. Bless me. Even me also, oh my father. The blessing that Isaac gave uh, Jacob, though, was you going to be God's chosen people. you going to be the salt of the earth, the best of the best. That's going to be every child that descends from you, my son, going to be great. That was the blessing. That's why Esau hated that thing, because he understood how magnificent that blessing was. Wait, 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 wait. They going to be the best of everything? What that means is, I'm, I'm going to share something with you. What that means is when the real kingdom of heaven comes, Y'all gonna be ruling the earth. That's right. And everybody else is gonna be, I'm gonna say something controversial, your slaves. That's right. Now we're not gonna be roots in them and cutting their feet off and now we're gonna rule them in righteousness. However, because in your kingdom, you gonna be a god and a goddess. Meaning you can't die, but they can. If they don't do something you tell them to do, that might be a death sentence. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 